Hi, I'm Joe Kabilka, and I'm the chairman of the Department of Political Science here at Southern Methodist University. The good people at Dedman College have asked me to make this video to talk to you about how we do political science and the study of it here at SMU. You've indicated an interest in politics and political science, and so this is my effort to give you a sense of the overview of the department and how we go about doing political science at SMU. I'm going to give you that overview, and then I'm going to turn it over to our most recently hired colleague, Professor Jana Englert, who will talk to you about what it's like to teach and take courses here. But I'm going to give you the bigger picture, okay? The first thing to tell you, and this is huge, is that you may have taken government in high school, but it's going to be vastly different in college. In high school, government is a course. Here, it's an academic discipline, okay? I'll tell you what that means in just a second. But not only is it an academic discipline, but in high school, when you took your government course, you were probably taught by a coach or a computer tech. Um, I'm not a coach. And if you have any doubt about that, look my kids up on Facebook and, and ask them because I coach them and they can tell you that, that I wasn't a very good coach. Um, I am a political scientist. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means I'm part of a discipline, part of a structured um, uh, academic unit that is looking at a specific subject, topic, okay? The subject matter here is politics. There are four fields in the political science discipline. American government, in which I find myself, political theory, comparative politics, and international relations. My area of expertise within American government is constitutional law, the judicial process, judicial politics, and American political thought. I teach courses exclusively in those areas. I write exclusively in those areas. My expertise is exclusively in those areas, and that's what I give to my students. Every one of my colleagues has expertise in a specific area of political science in those four fields, across those four fields. And so you will be taught, not by coaches, but by people who have researched, written, published, and taught these uh, uh, areas and, and these subject matters throughout the course of their career. So that's how high school and college differ in terms of the way courses are offered. Now, the way we do political science, the way we teach our classes here, is number one, our classes are small. Intro classes are 35, uh, upper level and uh, mid-level classes are capped at 30, uh, and seminars run between 12 and 20, okay? So we get to know you, you get to know us. Okay? That's significant um, because we then have a better capacity, a better grasp on how best to instruct you and to bring out the best in you. Now, if you want to, you can major in political science. And this involves 33 to 36 hours worth of coursework. You can get a BA, which is a general political science degree, or you can get a BS. And the BS is heavier on data analytics than the BA, and it culminates in a distinction thesis. Um, you can do a distinction thesis in the BA track as well, but if you do the BS track, you have to do a distinction thesis. If you are majoring in something else, you can also minor in political science, okay? And you can minor in one of those four areas, American government, international politics, comparative politics, or theory, but you can also minor in two more specialized tracks, or along two more specialized tracks. One is law and legal reasoning. If you're interested in going to law school, law and legal reasoning is made up of six courses that will help you develop the skills to do well in law school. Heavy emphasis on research, heavy emphasis on writing, heavy emphasis on presentation and advocacy. So law and legal reasoning is a minor that's adjunct to political science. The second adjunct minor comes from the Tower Center. The Tower Center is a center for the study of international politics and policy. They sponsor conferences. 
they bring in guest speakers, they do all sorts of things that students can get involved in if the interest is in international affairs. Um, but to the point here, they also have a program called the Tower Scholars Program, which is a highly competitive program where students apply for a minor in uh, public policy and international affairs. They take 10 students a year. So all of those things are associated with the political science department. Before I turn this over to Professor Englert, let me just say this. If you have any questions whatsoever about the study of political science here, um, don't hesitate to drop me an email. I'm the only Joe Kabilka, believe it or not, on campus. I look forward to seeing you in the fall. Hi, my name is Gianna Englert. I'm an assistant professor here in the political science department at Southern Methodist University. I teach courses in uh, political theory, the history of political thought, political philosophy. I teach uh, the introduction to political theory course that some of you might be in this fall. I also teach currently two upper level courses in ancient political thought and modern political thought. Uh, this fall will actually be my third year, so the beginning of my third year here at SMU. So I know that uh, Professor Kabilka has probably just spoken to you a little bit about uh, the ins and outs of the government department, probably a bit about how studying government and political science is different in college than it was in high school, and that's absolutely true. Uh, I want to speak a little bit about what I've enjoyed about being part of the political science department here, especially as someone who is relatively new to SMU and relatively new to this campus, uh, as you soon will be. So a few things uh, that I think we do well here in the political science department, uh, both from the perspective of a professor, but also I think that things that we do well from the perspective of students as well. Um, one of those things I think is uh, the small class size and the structure of classes that that allows for here in the political science department. So you might have seen uh, through the course catalog or through discussions with your advisor that courses here in the political science department are capped at 35 students for introductory courses and 30 students for um, some of the upper level classes. And this is really uh, the perfect class size. You might actually have classes that are much smaller than this. And the really good thing about this class size is that it allows for a blend of lecture and discussion. It allows for a lot of engagement between the professor and the student. And I think even more importantly, it allows for a lot of engagement between uh, you as students with your peers. And one of the reasons I think this is so important is that the study of political science, the study of government, really lends itself to kind of debate, discussion, and even disagreement. So when you're in a classroom, you're inevitably in a classroom with people who think differently than you, whose arguments come from different places than yours. And one of the things that our classes allow for is that kind of dialogue and discussion, not only with the professor, uh, though that's obviously an invaluable part of university life, but the way that our classes are structured here, uh, they allow for discussion of politics, of government with each other. And I, I maintain this is one of the best ways, I think, to learn about politics. The other really great thing about our department, if you look at the uh, course catalog, if you look at the schedule, you'll notice that we have a number of different fields in political science. And this is because political science as a discipline is divided into different fields, comparative politics, international relations, American government, and political theory. And one of the really great things about our department here is the way that we're able to integrate uh, discussion across all of those different fields and across all different courses. So because of the kinds of courses we offer, I often have students tell me oh, this topic that we're discussing in uh, ancient political thought, I'm surprised. I, I see that same topic being discussed in my comparative politics class. Or we're discussing these same kind of ideas right now in my American politics class. So because of the kinds of courses we offer, because of the range of courses we teach, and again, I think because of the small class size, you'll see uh, topics across all of your political science classes. You'll actually feel like you're majoring in something, in something coherent, in something identifiable, and something that you can talk about across all of your courses. And I think um, oftentimes this kind of uh, lens, this kind of perspective that you get from these political science courses transfers to your uh, other courses in the university curriculum as well. 
So um, I hope this was helpful in, in introducing you a little bit to the department. I look forward to uh, welcoming you this fall and hopefully seeing you in class. Have a good summer.